Now, I have over here data which says this is profile of suicide victims categorized by profession and for Gujarat the figure is 1795. Now this is from the National okay. Crime Records Bureau so claims Atishi. We will of course check this later but in the context of the Gujarat Chief Minister saying that only one farmer committed suicide in the last 10 years. That's what he said. Now those yes, are questions. They don't reckon, uh, Rahul that is Yes, Rahul, okay. that is because they do not recognize those as uh, they don't recognize no, no. those as farmer no, no, suicides no, no, no. as they do in other what parts, other states. It? They don't. No, please, please, what? Mr. Subramanian Swami, let me finish. Let Salman there finish, Doctor Swami. I'm coming thousand. to you in just a moment. Yeah, in the last in the last ten years in Gujarat, there are sixteen thousand suicides by <laughs> farmers and farm labor. In the last ten years, three and a half lakh farmers have left farming. In the last 10 years, 17 and a half lakh people have taken to menial labor jobs. So please do not talk about statistics. I know them uh, uh, backwards, okay? So, and these are, this is official <laughs> data, okay? This is official data. Mr. Modi, on the other hand, by the way, believes in just jugglery of words. He thinks that people in front of him love him for that, endears him to uh, them. He talks about soldiers in Udhampur. He's the same Mr. Modi who talked, uh, who said, that uh, astonishingly, he said that our soldiers do not take enough risks. How atrocious is that? He said that on the day when six soldiers died, uh, were, were killed in Jammu and Kashmir. He has, he has uh, the guts to uh, uh, talk about soldiers in Udhampur. How atrocious are these words? How is it that he's not taken to task for such, uh, such language? He, he's almost like a juvenile person. He has no, he doesn't talk, talk substance. And he just makes some. Uh, okay, let Subramaniam Swami well, come in on this double barrel attack by the Congress and the Aam Admi Party on our show tonight, which is what Modi was <laughs> yeah, referring to, I'm saying A team, B team. No, no, you no, know, who's, who's A team, B team, but that's a different point. I'm coming to you, Dr. Swami. Modi is not responding to the substance of the charges being leveled and instead trying to personalize the battle, say AK 49, as opposed to answer the substantive question, sir. No, no. See, the question is, what is the substantial question, first of all? That, uh, well, how many suicides? Well, this crime record, by the way, let me tell you, they, they take all suicides for all reasons. What Modi said very clearly was due to crop failure. That is what the issue was. Now, if somebody has a marital problem, he commits a suicide, he's categorized. That is, that is not like to see the states. original no, documents. No. That's Gujarat. Gujarat I like to see the original documents you can put this on, on television. And please uh, tell us, Mr. Sir, what facts. happened to those 500,000 Kashmiri Pandit? What about those Pandit? Salma, I encourage you, encourage you to Kashmir wait your turn and speak when you're asked to speak. Yes, because exactly. if everyone starts speaking together, then no one can be heard. It makes no sense. Wait your what? turn. I'll come to you, Dr. Swami. What complete about your argument. 500,000 Kashmiri No. Dr. Swami, you are matching out. rhetoric with rhetoric. I am trying to draw you into substance. What what? One by one, one please. You, one by one. Turn Salman's mic off. Dr. Swami, we are trying to draw you what into substance. The there are some specific questions being raised in, the, is, ta in the targeted attack by what Modi on Kejriwal. Is that what substance is not lost, question? Dr. Swami? Where is the substantive question? Please tell me. Why is he taking Kejriwal seriously? Of course he is not taking it seriously. But he is a candidate in his constituency. He has to tell his party workers how to reply at the, at the street level. That's why he is addressing the problem. And we expect him to address the problem. It's not because he think he's taking Kejriwal seriously. This is interesting and this is what we are seeing on the show, Salman. Atishi and you almost acting and speaking in tandem. It's almost as if one is backing the other to try and take on Modi. I don't know if this is just coincidence or this is concerted strategy, but this is what Modi was also referring to when he said the Congress and the yeah, Aam Aadmi Party are A and B team. Mm -hmm. It's actually yes. interesting me, that you talk about say, A team and B team. No, he uh, calls us a Pakistan agent once in the day, a Congress agent another time of the day. The BJP themselves had documents that we released about Robert Vadra, which they did not choose to release. We were the first ones to attack the Gandhi family and Robert Vadra. Then how is it that oh, someone can oh, call, really? call us a Congress B team is very interesting. Okay, Salman shows. Salman shows. There is a lot of fiction that goes Rahul. around from Mr. Modi's Rahul. speeches. <laughs> Shoot and squirt. Rahul, I would, just, I would just submit, I would just submit that on the one hand, Aam Aadmi Party says that 
some Modi ji is in somebody else's godi, some top businessman of the country. On the other hand, Modi ji says that uh, Aam Aadmi Party is in the Congress's godi. Some, the next day, somebody else, in fact, that guy, what's his name, uh, Mutalik from Bang Bangalore, said that, by the way, uh, my, uh, my dismissal from the BJP is a Congress conspiracy. This is like everybody thinks that the Congress party is the most powerful party here, perhaps for good reason. These people will not talk substance. They will not discuss the issues that are important to this country. They will only talk about you know, these juvenile speeches called name-calling, calling good citizens, upstanding citizens, they call them anti-nationals. This is divisiveness that Mr. Modi is spreading and he's going to get a resounding slap from the people of this country. Okay, by hearing this debate, it would almost seem as if Narendra Modi was the sitting Prime Minister and he was facing anti-incumbency <laughs> in a double barrel charge by AAP and the Congress and it is the Congress which is in opposition. It almost seems as if even before the elections, the roles have reversed and the Congress party is uh, destined or reconciled to the idea of being in opposition, Dr. Swami? Yes, of course. It's, uh, no poll is saying uh, otherwise. No, uh, no opinion expressed in any newspaper is saying otherwise. No one is saying that Congress has a chance to even cross 75. So it's, uh, it's, surprise, it's not surprising that they are so subdued when, when it comes to their position in the electoral fray. A question for Mr. Swami, yes. actually. Go on. I would actually want to know, you said that, no, that substantive questions have been answered. I think there are several substantive questions that have not been answered. First of all, the question of yes. why is someone who is convicted of participation in a mining scam, Babulal Bukharia, there in the Modi cabinet? The other substantive question that was answered falsely in the morning was about the question of gas pricing. You, where Yashwan Sinha said that he supposedly I, opposed he, the pricing. And we have said the Gujarat yeah. government themselves is using precisely the same formula in dollars, talking about international market prices, and saying that gas should be priced at $14. So clearly there seems to be a di dichotomy in what the, con the Gujarat government is revealing and what they actually stand for. Okay, what Dr. Do you have to Swami, say about final that, words. Sir? Yes, sir. Babulal Bukharia and gas pricing. Yeah, I want you to answer they, that. They, 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 they don't answer any substantive questions themselves. What about those 30 questions of the Home Ministry of your foreign exchange fraud under the FCRA? Which you have answered, sir. You have not answered one of them. You have not even answered the court. No, but your don't answer a question of with another court. question of your now, own. Answer let a question me, Let me come answered. to the question you raised about this minister. He has gone in appeal and he's got a stay. So it is, uh, there is no conviction yet in, in place. <laughs> let him be fully convicted and sent to jail and then see what happens to him. Okay, Salman, let final become, point. Let him become fully corrupt. Look, you know what, uh, Rahul and Mr. Swami, uh, I know everybody talks about the Modi wave. Somebody on my Twitter timeline said, Mr. this Modi wave seems like uh, Mr. India. You, you hear a lot about it, but you cannot really see it. In the last couple of months, what's happened in this country is that the BJP has decidedly, st ha uh, uh, they have a bumbling campaign, they have lots of divisions, and the Congress is coming back strong. And I tell you, Mr. Modi's dream of becoming Prime Minister of this country will remain a dream. Okay. And take it from me this time. Well, you can say it, but in the end, it's not you who decides, Salman. Neither will the Congress party decide. It's the people of India who will decide. And we'll know very soon. The people of the country decide. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And we'll know very absolutely. soon whether this is indeed a Modi wave or possibly the biggest conspiracy ever hatched. That answer will be known on the 16th of May. It's a Mr. India wave. I'm going to end this over here. Salman Soz, Dr. Subramaniam Swami and Atishi for joining us on Centre Stage tonight. Thank you very much. I just wish that the level of discourse was more substantive. That the charges being made by Kejriwal against Modi, by Modi against Kejriwal were more about substance, real substance, real meaty issues instead of just responding to, na responding to name calling and you know, what have you. That doesn't really further debate and democracy.